The March home sales and new listings set new records um, last month across Metro Vancouver. We have seen a surge in sales in almost all areas, um, in all neighborhoods. This is, um, yeah, a month like, like no other. We have seen um, an incredible number of new listings, which is wonderful because we still need more listings to help balance out the supply, but we're still not seeing quite enough inventory to keep up with the demand. The more rural and suburban areas outside of the city are definitely uh, more pronounced and we're still seeing a lot of families, um, you know, considering and, and actually listing their homes and making a move further out to attain more, to attain more property, to get more bedrooms, to get more patio space, to get more garden space, to, you know, have a larger kitchen, um, to have more bedrooms. So we are definitely still seeing a shift um, you know, in this busy marketplace because of people's changing housing demands. Um, but the ultimate um, main reason for sure, and I think a lot of people would agree with me, um, is, the, is the historic low interest rates that we still have in place. Um, so that's a huge factor. Um, we're also seeing an increased household um, savings being, being partly um, the reason for a lot of consumers being able to, uh, yeah, consider making an upwards move. An upwards move so that's always interesting. Um, okay, so when we look at where numbers are today, um, the middle of April compared to last month, the sales numbers and the price values are all up in each categories. The average price right now for a detached property is $1,700,000. This price is up 4.9% compared to March, or compared to February, compared to four or five weeks ago. The average price right now for a townhouse, um, which is the busiest, uh, one of the busiest uh, markets in, in all of the neighborhoods, is 872000 This price is up 3.9% compared to the February uh, compared to the February numbers. The townhouses are up actually 10% more than um, at this time last year a year ago and in the condominium market the average price for an apartment property is 715,000 and this price is up 2.6 percent the sales to, to excuse me the sales to list price average right now in vancouver west side and vancouver east side is a hundred percent um so what that means is you can expect to see a full price offer if not more on your home if you were to go to the marketplace if you were priced well if you were priced um, competitively compared to uh, other similar properties with similar characteristics you cannot um, go to the marketplace at a price even you know five or ten percent higher and expect to see a successful outcome in less than three weeks like most other homeowners um, if you are pricing your home if you're pricing your home too high um, so you really do have to um, speak about your you know your home's value and um, the comparable sales and you have to have a comprehensive professional a very strategic marketing plan in place um, you know to achieve a successful sale in in a few weeks um, okay, so the average sales price per square foot right now in Vancouver West Side is $976. And this price is up 3% compared to uh, compared to one month ago. The average price right now on the east side is $863 um, price per square foot. This price is also up uh, month over month. The most popular neighborhood with the most activity in Vancouver West Side was Kitsilano, um, Fairview and Mount Pleasant. Um, Kitsilano had an 81% sales ratio number last month. That is huge, 81%, or a huge number. Um, Mount Pleasant and Vancouver East Side had 115% sales ratio last month. These are numbers that we have never seen before. Um, the sales ratio number is, is a sure indicator as to, uh, with respect to the speed of the marketplace. So if that number is over 50, 60% uh, for three or four months, um, it is for sure a seller's marketplace. And uh, that's why we sort of reference that number each month because it is a very important calculation um, that we have to read and um, look into for, yeah, with respect to sales and listings. If you divide the listings, 
count in your neighborhood by the number of sales. That's how you actually get the, uh, the sales ratio number. Anyhow, um, overall, the marketplace is extremely busy. If you are, you know, sort of worried about getting into the marketplace, if you're looking for whether it be a detached house or a townhouse, and uh, you know, you're hearing these stories about, you know, other buyers having pretty sort of um, sad situations or pretty negative experiences because they are in multiple offer um, scenarios and they're unable to, you know, to be that winning offer, you know, rest assured that if you do speak to an experienced a real estate agent, um, if you don't know anyone or if you'd like to talk to me, please call me. But um, we do have, and I've said this before, lots of strengthening points that we can help you um, with to ensure that your winning is amongst the, you know, top two offers. Um, there's lots of ways we can strengthen your position and I'd love to share those tips with you. But uh, it's not all doom and gloom if you're on the buying side. There are still buying opportunities out there. You can still negotiate, believe it or not. Um, we are finding some properties that are off market for clients. We you know, have to sort of work harder and we have to do more research, but there are ways to you know, sort of understand the market and there are ways to you know, get ahead. Um, if you're on the selling side and you're thinking of going to the marketplace uh, next month, be sure you do a comprehensive um, professional, uh, have a strategic sort of marketing plan in place for your home. Just because it's a hot market doesn't mean you can choose any price, list your home and you'll see a successful sale. Um, you really have to be priced competitively. Your property has to stand out amongst the competition. The photos have to look 100%. The staging has to be in place. Some new accessories, some new paint uh, can make the world of difference. So the traditional marketing steps are still fully in place. Um, so we have to uh, deliver, of course, that information to you, you know, once we talk. Um, but we're happy to share this stuff with you. Anyhow, it's busy out there. Um, yeah, take care if you're doing showings. We are practicing safe, um, sort of all the safe protocols that are in place with respect to the rising numbers in, in COVID-19, which is so sad. But um, know for sure that we're wearing masks and we're sanitizing. We're doing our showings um, between sort of um, groups. We're separating, excuse me, showings within 15 minutes of each other. So we're doing everything we can, um, you know, to keep everyone safe. So anyhow, take care. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I am busy, but I still love to, I love coffee and I'd love to schedule a time to chat um, with you if you have any concerns. Okay, take care.